Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm very excited because I got my first PR. It's a foundation. I'm sure you noticed from the title of this video. So today's video will be a uh, first impressions and a wear test on the new foundation from Makeup Forever. This is my little package. So this is the Reboot Foundation and I really wanted to try this. I think I mentioned in my last video, I'm not someone that like tries a lot of different foundations and I actually don't often wear foundation. I prefer to just use concealer or like a BB cream because I don't like the full coverage look is not really for me. But this was very intriguing because it's kind of like a skincare infused foundation. So it says right on the front here that it brightens, smooths, firms, hydrates, and evens out. It's an active care in foundation. So I thought that was really interesting. And when I got the, um, the email that it was coming out, I was like, oh my God, yes, please. I need to try it. <laughs> so I have the, the little card here just to give you some more information so it says new makeup forever reboot active care revitalizing foundation these are some of the shades here and on the back it has the full range which i mean there's a lot of shades but i feel like it's very like light to medium heavy so i don't know if they'll extend the range but I have the shade R230 so it's this one here so it's not the lightest shade and I'm a bit concerned that it might be a little dark probably not though because I have the Makeup Forever water blend in the shade R210 and that one I feel is a little too light for me so maybe it will work um, but anyway it says it brightens, smooths, and firms skin's appearance for 24 hours, reduces the appearance of wrinkles by 23%, and a 26% increase in hydration. So this is basically like everything I want in a foundation, so I'm hoping it's going to be good. And this is available at Sephora, Sephora.ca, and TheBay.com. It's $51, and they came in with a brush. Um, to like go with this it's an artisan brush number 112 it's I can put a picture up here it's like a, a kabuki brush um, but I don't think like you really need that brush to use this in fact I watched a demo from makeup forever and they said it could be used with a sponge to get like a more sheer coverage so it's basically like meant to be a light to medium coverage but there is another video that I saw on Sephora for a way that you can make it a fuller coverage foundation if that's what interests you. But anyway, let's just try this out. So I showed you the packaging here. Um, it has like all those claims again that I just read and it says suitable for normal to dry skin. So I don't think if you, maybe if you have oily skin, this won't be the best for you. So this is what the shade looks like in the bottle. Actually, I think that's going to be good. And there's um, more information on the bottle. It says, our makeup artist created Reboot to instantly reverse the five effects of fatigue on the skin thanks to an exclusive combination of makeup and skincare. So I've noticed like there's a trend now in makeup to infuse skincare. And I think that's a really good idea because skincare by itself is very expensive so maybe if you get if you can get something that's like a two-in-one then it's better for your wallet so yes um so i actually do have a brush and a sponge today because i kind of want to see the difference i think i'll do one side with the brush and one with the sponge and just see how it goes um so i have i don't have the brush that came with it but i have this brush from Real Techniques. It's the Ultimate Buffing Brush. I actually really like this brush because it's like rounded on the edges so it actually makes buffing easier 
I have another foundation brush that's flat and I feel like it kind of just moves the foundation around because it it's not like easy to swirl if you know what I mean um, and then my sponge is also from Real Techniques it's the sponge that I've been using for every other foundation or BB cream um, it's this pink one here and I will show you in better lighting after <laughs> what it actually looks like I think I'll start with one pump so that's one pump here right away I can see that it's more liquidy than the water blend foundation let's see I guess this side will be the sponge side Yeah, so it's definitely not a full coverage foundation, but I don't think, I think you would know that already from like the way the product is described. And I do have a lot of redness in my skin right now because I just had a shower and whenever I come out of the shower, I'm like blotchy and red everywhere. So don't mind that. <laughs> it, it does leave a nice glow. If you can tell the difference from this side yeah definitely already evened out some of my redness that was just one pump so we'll see if it builds up but first I want to try the brush on this side so I'll use another pump or that side I'm kind of scared because <laughs> I don't normally use a brush for foundation I feel like on my dry skin it doesn't work out so well because it kind of like when I have flaky skin it kind of just lifts all the flakes up and it looks super dry. I did have already my uh, skincare on before beginning so and I'm not using primer today because my skin was already pretty hydrated and I want to see how this works on its own because the primer I use you guys know already it's the one I use like all the time the um, first aid beauty coconut skin smoothie primer this one is very hydrating so I want to see if this is hydrating on its own because that's one of the claims this actually looks really good with a brush Can we see a difference? Well, it looks a bit dry on my forehead because it's doing that thing that I just said where it gets in all my flakes. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks more dewy on this side because that's where I use the sponge and I guess that's normal because the sponge has moisture in it, so yeah. I think I do, wow, this lighting is terrible. I think I do prefer this side. So let me put another pump using the sponge. I'm just going to go everywhere. So we can see if it builds. Okay, so there is with another pump all over um, so far it looks pretty good it's not feeling like exceptionally hydrating but we'll see like how it um, how it goes when my like natural oils mix with it and like warm it up but it, it looks pretty good. The only place that it's not looking good is, if you can see right here, but um, I don't think that's the foundation. That's just like, because I had a dry patch there. So yeah. But usually foundations look pretty bad on my nose, but this one looks good so far. 
So we'll see how it goes. I'll do some check-ins throughout the day and like at night. I'm actually, uh, we're going out for dinner tonight because yesterday was Valentine's Day. I mentioned in my last video that we're going for dinner. So I will be back like much later and I think it will be a good wear test so you guys can see how it goes. But um, so far it looks pretty good. Let me show you in the natural lighting. This is very uh, bright. I'm directly in front of my window. Um, so you can tell like it's not again full coverage but it's not supposed to be so I'm not going to say that's like a negative. Um, it looks pretty good on my nose considering how dry this area is and like I said you can tell here that where my flakes are but that's not the foundation that's my skin so um, but so far it looks good I think the shade actually it looks a little pink because it is from the R um, well you can see me in the mirror and my uh, beautiful outfit. I'm wearing pajamas, but anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, the shades that start with R, it's for red, so they are, like, they have pink and red undertones, something like that. So, yeah, but it's not like, I mean, if you're really looking at it, you can tell, but otherwise it's a pretty good match. So I'll do the rest of my makeup and see how that goes. Hey guys, so I'm back with my the rest of my makeup done. If you're wondering what I use, it will be below, but just for showing you right now. Um, it's the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette for my eyeshadow, obviously. And for my blush and highlight, I use the NARS Narcissist Wanted One palette. And my lip is the Too Faced um, High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss in Raisin the Roof. And the rest is like my usual stuff that will be described below. So, where's my mirror? The foundation looks really good, actually. <laughs> um, I did notice it's creasing a bit uh, right here in like my smile line, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it wears and I'll check in later. So this is my first check-in. Um, it's been... Uh, one, two, like three hours that I've been wearing this. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good in this lighting, but I did notice like it was creasing around my uh, my upper lip and my smile lines. And it looks like a bit too, not like too matte, but it looks more matte than I would prefer. I really like sheer coverage and like dewy foundations because I have such dry skin. Okay, everyone walking by is looking at me and it's very nerve-wracking. <laughs> um, but anyway, I don't even know if you can see. Yeah, you see like this crease here. It just looks a bit cakey for my liking. But it might look better later when it's with my oils. So yeah, I'll check in later. Okay, so I'm back. It's 7.57 so I think I put I finished my makeup around 12.30 so it's almost been eight hours let's say I think that's pretty good I personally don't wear makeup like longer than that anyway so yeah I think that's enough time to know how I feel about it it's looking good still it didn't like break up or anything um this is because i wear glasses so obviously it came off where my glasses sit and the only place that it looks kind of 
cakey is um, around my smile lines and I noticed that in my first check-in also so I don't think it got any worse than that which is good and on my forehead where I have like dry patches it looks the same as it did from when I applied it so it didn't get any worse yeah the only thing pretty much um, it's the same what I said in my first check-in I just feel like it looks like I'm wearing a lot of makeup and I don't know if that's only because I don't usually wear foundation so I feel like this looks like a lot of makeup for me but maybe for someone else this is the kind of finish they prefer so it did say that this is a light to medium coverage I believe but for me this is a medium coverage I think this foundation has the most coverage of all the foundations I own which isn't saying a lot because I only have four <laughs> and um they're pretty like sheer and dewy so um i'll say again what i said in my check-in i just wish this was a bit more of a dewy finish it actually looks pretty dewy right now but i think that's like my natural oils coming through since it has been on for eight hours so yeah overall i think i want to try this again um, because if you remember I said in my intro I actually didn't wear my usual primer today which is a moisturizing primer so I'm wondering if that will help it to look more dewy and more like something I prefer but I do I think it's um, been pretty good otherwise because it doesn't it didn't break up it only creased um, in these lines here but I do have other foundations that will crease like even between my brows or my forehead. So it's actually pretty good for that. So yeah, I think that's it for me. I need to take this makeup off. Uh, I hope you like this video and that you learned something and maybe you have a better idea of how the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation works. And yeah, if you liked it, give it a like. And thank you to Makeup Forever for sending this my way for consideration obviously this is not sponsored no one's sponsoring me okay so yeah uh, subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye